I was very excited when I read in the news about the ancient Lyre Bridge that had been discovered on the Isle of Skye at High Pasture Cave, Ur and Ard Achi. This part of an Iron Age prehistoric musical instrument. It's in very poor condition, it's broken, it's charred, but uh, it's clearly a Lyre Bridge and I thought how interesting and exciting it would be to make a copy of it and install it on a musical instrument and see how it behaved and how it worked. It's a beautifully subtle piece of sculpture, so I had to take as many views as I could of it and turn them into my templates. Uh, because it's a hand, going to be a hand-carved object, it's never going to be exactly the same as the real thing. But uh, hopefully it'll give us an idea of how it would have worked when it was new. So I have photographs of the original, which I've cut out, chopped up, turned around to give me different views to make sure that I'm copying the different aspects of every angle. And the other thing, of course, to start with is that we need a lovely piece of wood. And so I have a piece of beautiful maple, which I found just outside in the stream. Well, this is the piece of maple wood marked out, half cut out. Paper templates. Well, this is it, mostly shaped. Just need to smooth the surfaces, cut the arch, and then profiling the top. So the arch is cut, it's getting quite smooth. Of course, it's the marking out at the top that needs done next. Once I've finished the shaping, it's just scraping to take away the knife marks and rough edges. I like to avoid sandpaper for this kind of job. So here it is, finished. Each one is slightly different because they're handmade, because of the curl and the grain in the wood, but it's fun to recreate this over and over again and discover new things about it. So now the bridge is finished, we need the rest of the instrument of course. Um, there's no evidence that we know of from the cave of, of what an Iron Age Scottish lyre is like. So the easiest thing to do is to look further afield to England and the continent. And so for this project, I'm using a, um, a standard Anglo-Saxon or Germanic style of lyre. This is a cheap imported instrument. It's made of maple wood. It has six tuning pins. And I've taken off all of the strings and everything that came with it. So our layer bridge is on here like this. Now all we have to do is make and fit the strings and the tailpiece. The peg compound helps the wooden pegs to grip into the yoke of the layer. It stops them jerking and binding and makes the layer easier to tune.
the tail pieces of the lyres, we don't really know what they were like. None of the old lyres that survived have tail pieces on them. So I prefer the simplest stick type. I have the little metal stick because I'm going to use metal strings on the lyre and then just a loop of wire to hold it onto the uh, projecting pin at the end of the lyre. I want quite a short tail piece on this one so that it can be used at different pitches. About like that I reckon. For this lyre I'm using the old Scottish and Irish edition of metal wire strings. This is sterling silver but I need to make it thinner and harder. I don't know if a draw plate like this was used in the Iron Age but they were certainly making very good quality wire as far back as the Bronze Age as you can see in the Irish treasures and jewellery. So this is a loop in the end of the wire and this will help us to attach it to the tailpiece. Feed everything through. And now we have to fit to the peg. Because the lyre has six strings, but the bridge only has three positions, maybe five if you use the outside, I like to run the strings together in pairs. Some people think that the bridge can be reconstructed with extra peaks to give more positions, but this is my preferred shape. I've arranged the strings in pairs on the tailpiece. I put the sloping side of the bridge towards the open strings. And then you can just pop the bridge under like this. Two strings into each position. leather strap which is for your wrist when you're playing the lyre and I like to punch a series of holes to mean you can adjust it to your own personal preference a little bit like a buckle on a belt And 
tie it onto their layer. And so the completed layer 